Welcome big dog. So today we're going to run a static analysis. So once we've got the response we needed from our modal analysis, we went ahead and made the correct context. We can go ahead and do a static structural analysis. So let's go ahead and insert our boundary condition. So we'll insert it on this face. Apply. Next thing we want to do is we want to apply our load. So in this case we're just going to do standard gravity as our load. And if we want to go up to more G's, we just multiply it by that multiple of the G's we want to evaluate our stresses at. So we'll apply it in the negative Y direction. So that's downward. Next thing we want to do is evaluate our stresses. So we'll add von Mises stress and max principal stress for our solids and shell surfaces. And so once we selected those, we have beams in this model, so we got to evaluate those a little bit differently. We can't see those results unless we go to insert and then go to beam tool. Beam tool will show those stresses on the beams. Once we've got that, we can solve the model. And because we have simplified the elements, it should run pretty fast. It'll just take very few seconds to run this. And then everything's checked out. And so we have our equivalent von Mises stress contour plot we can look at and calculate margins of safety for our solids and shell surfaces. We also have our maximum principal stress. We can do the same thing. And then for the beams, it's a little bit different. We have uh, direct stress, which is our axial load only, minimum combined stress, which is our axial and minimum bending stress, and our maximum is our max bending and axial stress. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Adios.